Five meters to contact. Slow and steady, Gladys. One false move on this drill and we're swimming in molten slag. Boom, 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 boom. Suit up. You're going to space. Uh, five more minutes. Ah, okay, okay. I got the message. That's your closet, Al. Uh, whatever. All right, so what's all the... Braids, is, is that a coffee maker? I've engineered Max to produce 16 different types of hot beverages. Still a little over-extracted. You're looking at the Asteroid 21 Lutetia, home of the Galvana Mine. 20 minutes ago, an epic solar flare pretty much fried the station's electronics just as it was drilling into the molten core. The resulting eruption pushed it into a collision course with the sun. It's all so tragic. That's my favorite asteroid. You have a favorite asteroid? Of course, Alan. Asteroids are extremely entertaining. Uh, how many on board, John? Just one. It's a mostly automated operation. The miner reports he's safe for now, but the next return transport won't get there in time. We need to go pick him up. Are you cool with that? Sure. With everyone else still helping with that tunnel fire in the Pyrenees, this will be a solo mission? Not advisable. You'll need an extra set of hands if something goes wrong. I'll gladly volunteer Max. He'd do great in the desolate, unforgiving the vacuum of space. Uh, thanks, Brains, but I'll be fine solo. I'll go with you. hey -o. You will? I mean, that's cool. We're preparing a launch. Just hang tight. International rescue is on the way. What it takes the company shuttle days to get here. I don't have that long. We have slightly different equipment. No big deal. <laughs> Thunderbird 3, your precise trajectory and optimum velocity have been calculated and loaded into the navigational cluster. Thanks, Thunderbird 5. Have a good flight. You may have launched into orbit before, but I'm pretty sure you've never done this. Three, two, one. Acceleration rate stable, intercept locked in. So, zombie apocalypse or alien storm? Uh... What are you talking about? Killing time. It's gonna be pretty much autopilot until we get there. Don't you like games? I've got better things to do. Better than fighting zombies? What is all that? Technical readouts of the asteroid mine. We should be prepared if something goes wrong. This is just a taxi mission. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> Did I mention we have zombies? Go ahead. Conquer the undead. <sighs> Technical readouts win. Keo, I'm tr transmitting the latest estimates. Even at your current speed, any delay would make rescue impossible. Hmm, that is cutting it close. Alan, wake up. You need to see this. Ah, oh, I'm asleep. Ugh, <clears throat> oh, gross. Space drool. I didn't get you, did I? <sighs> Latest telemetry? Yeah, we're really cutting it close. No problem. We're only using 65% of the ion fusion engine's power. We'll just speed up a little. A word of caution, Alan. Increasing your velocity will get you there faster but it will also greatly complicate your deceleration sequence. I'm worried you use up all your fuel. Brains, it's me. I can handle it. Better strap back in. You 
If we don't get off this rock soon, it's gonna get belty in here. Gladys is already feeling the heat. Don't worry, we've got our best pilot on board Thunderbird 3. We'll get there in time. <gasps> it's another solar flare! Blaze, another massive solar storm just hit the asteroid. But Alan and Gale are gonna be flying right into it. Time to slow this thing down. This is Thunderbird 3, preparing for deceleration sequence. Triton Storm! Everything's going haywire! We've lost main power. We've lost them. Navigation controls aren't responding. Oh, everything is dead. We can live without comms, but without navigation and propulsion, there's no way we're stopping. What happened back there? We just got hit by a massive solar flare. Well, it's a good thing Brains designed the ship to withstand that amount of solar radiation. Otherwise, we would have just been microwaved. So what now? I need to do a hard reset. We'll power back up and hope everything works. Let's see. And... Everything doesn't work. Kale, this is kind of bad. I need those engines to slow us down. Otherwise, we're gonna shoot right past the asteroid and into the sun along with it. Can it be fixed? I don't know. International Rescue, this is Thunderbird 3. Do you copy? John, are you there? Kale, I don't know what to do. We're gonna be okay, Alan. Just take it slow and remember your training. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we need to get these covers off. I'm still tracking them. No change in velocity or trajectory. There are redundant systems on board. Alan and Gale should be able to repair the damage. If they have time. Well, that's the one thing they don't have. At the speed they're going, they'll be passing the asteroid any minute. I'm calling in the others. There's nothing they can do, John. But they need to know. Alan and Gale are clever. They'll be all right. I don't know, Brains. Alan, we just flew past the asteroid. Okay, hand me a new module. It's getting hot out there. Here goes nothing. Oh, yes! We've got navigation and propulsion. Strap in. I'm turning this thing around. First course. Thunderbird 3 is back on an intercept with the asteroid. Okay, we've matched speed with the asteroid. It's a whole lot bigger up close. We're still safe from the solar radiation. It's the heat I'm worried about. We need to get inside the asteroid. That should protect us from the heat. We still don't have a working comm channel. We can't even let them know we're here. We could always go out and knock. <gasps> That's exactly what we're gonna do. I was joking. I'm not. Can you help me rig up some kind of electromagnetic interference generator? Sure. But what good will that do except make their console squeal? Uh-huh. We've got power! Oh, now what? Wait a minute. I know what this is. Remember when I was little and my dad would make us all practice Morse code? He used to say it was the biggest waste of time in the universe. I never understood why he insisted we learn some ancient binary pulse code. Until now. How did you know he would? To work on Galvanomine, you have to be space rated. Morse code is still a requirement. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, in the readouts.
was I surprised to hear that Morse code. Nobody uses that. Wait, your international rescue? Would you look at that, Gladys? They're just a couple of kids. Told you nobody cares about us out here. Hey, we just risked our lives to come and save you and your plant. Gladys. How about a little gratitude? It's not about that, Kale, remember? I'm sorry. You're right. Thank you very, 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 very much for coming to rescue me. It doesn't matter anyway. You're too late. Did you notice the temperature outside? We're done for. If we leave this rock now, we'll melt. It's only a matter of time until the asteroid does too. He's right. We've run out of time. There's no way Thunderbird 3 can survive out there now. Oh, so what? We're just going to sit here and accept our fate? Unless you believe in miracles. Bring any of those along with you, rocket boy. Maybe I did. We're international rescue. We make the impossible happen every day. All we need is a big enough kick to move this asteroid a few degrees. We'll slingshot around the sun instead of crashing into it. You're right about the impossible port. We don't have engines. This is a rock in space. You have explosives, don't you? Explosives? Oh, we do have those. Net set for that, your service. We call these crackers. They'll split an asteroid in two if you put them in the wrong place. But if we position them in the right place, it'll give us the push we need. shouldn't have sent them out there. It's what we do, John. But Alan's just a kid, and K.O. doesn't need you or anyone else to look out for. Her. And you shouldn't underestimate Alan just because he's the youngest. That kid's a lot more clever than we think. And exactly why are we doing this? Because the safest place to be when those nukes go off is aboard Thunderbird 3. This had better work. Here goes nothing. We're changing course. I knew you had it in you, Rocket Boy. Thanks. Now we just have to make it around the sun without burning to a crisp. Hold on a minute. I'm detecting movement on the asteroid. Big movement. It's changing direction. The asteroid is now going to slingshot around the sun instead of crashing into it. And with the insulating pr properties of the asteroid combined with the radiation shielding of Thunderbird 3, they'll be reasonably safe. Well, that's some good news. Of course, at the speed they'll be traveling, the asteroid will be thrown into interstellar space without any hope of recovery. You know what I like about you, Brains? You're always looking at the positive. That was sarcasm, wasn't it? Hang on, guys. Almost halfway around. They're really cooking. Temperature readings are maxed out. If it wasn't for the asteroid protecting us, we'd be done for. So then we just wait it out. Take a nice trip round the sun and back to home we go. Not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? We have a slight problem. Oh, that's not good. What's not good? What kind of a mess have you gotten us into now? Well, when we overshot the asteroid, we used up most of our fuel slowing down and flying back to it. So? This rock we're riding in is going plenty fast enough. But in the wrong direction. When we escape the sun's orbit, we won't be pointed towards Earth. Any more bad news? We still have no communications. Be a space miner. Live a life of adventure. You should have stuck with gardening, Ned. I'm an idiot. Can you be more specific? My brothers always say I make it seem so easy. Like I don't even try. I think I started to believe them. None of this is your fault, Alan. It's a mission. Things go wrong. But I wasn't ready. Now we're probably gonna die. Don't say that. You've been through worse. I've never been this far away from everybody. We're all alone out here. Brains, my brothers, they can't help us. Look, Alan, I've known you long enough to be certain that you don't need anybody's help. That's the last module. Fire it up. 
works! Yes! Oh, great. What a relief. In case you were wondering, back side of the sun looks exactly the same as the front. We're monitoring your fuel situation. Yeah, it could be better. We'll report back as soon as we have a solution. FAB. Tracy Island out. We've almost completed our orbit. Temperatures are dropping a little. I think we made it through the worst, as far as the getting melted by the sun part goes. I say... As soon as we're out of the sun's corona, we ditch the rock and take our chances. And I'm telling you, we don't have enough fuel. We'll be stranded. I'll think of something. I just need a minute. How old are you? Twelve? Gladys thinks the grown-ups need to be in charge. And we say ditch now. Two things. One, Alan may be young, but I trust him with my life. Two, we won't take orders from a plant. Gladys. We're in a bad situation. Don't make it worse for yourself. Understand? Thanks, you are, then. If only we could get a little extra kick in the right direction. What? A kick? A kick? Did we use all the crackers? One left, for just in case. Hmm. They made it around the sun. I'm tracking their trajectory, but it doesn't look good. They're headed nowhere close to Earth. Hey, guys. I'm going to try something, but it's a little crazy. Alan Tracy crazy, or should I be worried crazy? I'll let you be the judge of that. I still don't see how this is going to work. We're sitting right on top of that last explosive charge. When it goes off, it should shoot us from the asteroid like a cannonball along with our own engines, that should give us enough velocity to get us back to Earth. I've mapped your precise spin using telemetry data from Thunderbird 5. I'm transmitting to you now the exact moment at which to launch. The margin of error will be less than one half second. You'll only get one shot at this. Otherwise, we fly off in the wrong direction. I got it. Don't Gladys and I get a say in this. No. Coming up on launch. I'd strap in if I were you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fire. Did it work? It worked. We're heading in the right direction with just enough fuel to get us home. ETA to Earth, three hours. Not bad, Rocket Boy. Sorry we doubted you. I'm sorry I doubted me too. And thanks for sticking up for me. Are we there yet? Why not make us the cannonball? <laughs> you should have felt the speed. It was massive. You did good, Alan. We're all proud of you. Ah, no big deal. I wasn't worried at all. Uh, I think I'm going to turn in. I don't blame you. Get some rest. I'm heading back up. Good work up there, Kao. How was it really? It was scary. But Alan was a Tracy. He saved us all, Scott. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Rest time's over, Hotshot. We've got to rescue. F.A.B. 